Hi everyone, this is the second part of my Olive Young tour, where you can find makeup reviews and recommendations of a Korean drugstore. I will show which ones worth a shot to try and which ones to avoid. These are the primers of Wake Make. The black tube is recommended for oily and the white tube is recommended for dry or dehydrated skin. The next one is their foundation. I purchased it blindly and at that time I had no idea about this brand. The coverage is quite strong, the lasting power is good, although my skin got oily in the end of the day. Not my favorite foundation, but I enjoyed the usage. The first cushion is the Found Lab Conceal Cushion for a higher coverage. The sponge is not flat as usual, this one has a slight bump. Although their reviews are not that good, their defining setup cushion can verse a shot. This one is more natural but still has a decent coverage. Here you can see the beloved Code Glocolor primers. The most important one is the Moisturizing Hydro Primer for dry, dehydrated skin. On Glowpick this is the second best primer in Korea. Although since my skin is not dehydrated nor dry, or at least not that much, I rather prefer their Glowy Lumiere Primer. It gives a beautiful shine for the skin and this shine is not too much, not too glittery, not too beamy. It's more on the natural side with a slight tune-up effect. I have no doubt Roman makeup products are amazing, but the packaging feels so cheap and old-fashioned, even if the products inside is good, I'm sure I just couldn't enjoy using them. But if you're not as concerned about packaging as I am, you should definitely try their lip tints and blushes. I am Mimi, my case is just a so-so brand. All these shading, highlighter and blusher sticks are awful. If you go to a drugstore and try them on your hands first, you can soon realize you don't want to buy these products. The first one here is their concealer foundation. Maybe it's just me, but the packaging is really similar to the Hera Black Foundations packaging. I had a chance to try a sample, I was not blown away by it. It feels too heavy, unnatural, especially under direct sunlight. And the application is really hard, since it settles dry matte within a short time. Then here there are some Espar lip products. The first velvet lip fluid is nice as a lip gloss, it got the ninth place on glow pick. It has medium amount of shine, good coverage, highly pigmented. The next one is a satin liquid lipstick. I personally like this one more. And the last one here is a velvet tint locker. This one felt the heaviest among the three and on the Korean market you can find tons of really good lip tints with a velvet finish for a better price. These are Espoir's matte lipsticks. I like the packaging as it has the same color as the lipstick itself. The next ones are the mascara with three different colors, rosy, brown and black. Since Korean mascaras are usually just black, really sometimes they have brown option, this Espoir mascara is a simple but refreshing change. I kinda want to try the rosy one for nude, pink makeup looks. This is the new version of the Pro Taylor Foundation Be Glow. I never tried the new version, but it felt horrible on my hand. It felt too wet and kind of slimy, that is not the best sign of lasting ability. Although the packaging is really nice, it blends easily, the moisturizing skill might be good and well, it has a lot of shades. So the first side, I did not like the texture, but I will try it later, who knows, maybe it's actually a nice product. Here you can see Mammon makeup. I'm not into many Mammon products, their rose-based skincare, sheet masks and toners are nice, but the makeup, well, I do not recommend this cushion, nor the powder packed. These two products, although the All Stay Foundation and the Total Solution BB Cream are quite nice products. I like the usage of the foundation, it has a good coverage, lasting ability and it is easy to apply it on. I tried the BB Cream only on my hand, since it has no shade for my skin tone, but people usually prefer using this BB Cream more.
These are the famous tin bulbs of Mamont. These are popular not only in Korea but overseas as well. Good moisturizing skill, well pigmented, not too matte and not too shiny either. These hair shadows, on the other hand, are not well known overseas yet. It has two versions, one of them is bigger with a wider cushion head and a tiny mirror inside, while the other one is tend to be a better choice for traveling or keeping it in your bag. They help naturally cover the empty spots on the scalp. It's a saver for many people and for many hairstyles. Here are the Wakemake lip products. Although I am not into this lip paint, I feel like it's moving too much on the lips, uh, not that comfortable feeling, but their Wakemake lip paint flat version is a way better product. More long lasting, the texture does not move on the lips after it settles and has a beautiful pigmentation. Their Rouge Gun Zero became famous in Korea and got the 13th place on Glowpick. It has a blurry matte finish and nice colors all together. The next product is also a lipstick, but this one is not as good as the product before. This one is more matte and feels too dry on the lips. But this lipstick is also quite good itself. Wake Make has browns and beiges that I'm always searching for and almost impossible to find in Korea. It has a liquid lipstick version, the Lip Coaster Tax. It seems really similar, although this one is a bit more long-lasting and does not dry the lips as much as the lipstick version. Just to compare them with each other, I left the Lip Coaster Tax and the Lip Coaster Matte Lipstick on my hand and apply on the Lip Paint Flat that has similar finish. Because the lip paint flat is more velvety, feels better on the lips. I prefer that one from the three. These mascaras from the Japanese Kiss Me brand are my personal favorite. I am keep using their super waterproof product that seriously stays in place. You can cry for hours, you can swim, you can use foam cleanser, oil cleanser, cleanser water and still it stays put. You need a special waterproof eye and lip makeup remover for this. Although Code Glocolor has good primers, their air blur tints are not so remarkable. Just simply nothing special. Ok, so you can see Clio products here. The first one is my favorite eyeliner. Well pigmented, thin, easy to work with and extra long lasting. Once you apply it on and wait until it settles, it won't move at all. Although your skin needs to be more matte and powdery, on wet creamy surface nothing is long lasting. If you are searching for glittery eyeshadows or prefer wet eye look, this Prism Sparkle eyeshadows from Clio could be a very good choice. This product is not powdery but cream based. Now the next products are also favorites. Almost all the Clio lip products are amazing. The first one is the matte velvet tint that obviously has a velvet finish.
The next one is the Wheel Tint Dewy that is kind of a new product and I absolutely love this one. I love the shine, the colors and the finish as well. And the last lip product here is the cult favorite Mad Matte Lip. Except for just a few colors, all of them are stunning, the texture is amazing, it has that blurry matte finish, buildable and feels lightweight. If you want to purchase a Korean lipstick, you should definitely start with this one. Here there are some Lily by Red products, I have mentioned this brand in my part 1 video. These lip tints are the main products of the brand and they are beloved by thousands of Koreans. Similar with Peripera that is actually the next and last brand of this video. So the first product from one of my favorite cheap Korean brand from Peripera is their new Ink Matte Blur Tint. I was looking forward to this new lip tint but honestly I hate it. It's everything but smooth. Feels so heavy, it's moving, patchy and uneven, especially compared to other lip tints from the brand. Ink Black Kara is also a cult favorite in Korea, currently it got the second place on Glowpick. I will definitely try this product, but for now I stick with the Kiss Me Mascara. Now these are the lip tints of Peripera, my personal favorites of this brand. These are the new version of the Velvet Lip Tints. They are similar with my other favorites, the Ink Airy Velvet Lip Tints, although this one is more pigmented and more long-lasting. Love them both. If you are searching for lip tints, try these ones. Not that long ago, Perpera launched a lipstick, the name is Ink Airy Velvet Stick. As I have mentioned before how much I love the Ink Airy Velvet Lip Tints, I was quite sure they cannot mess up with the lipstick version either. These lipsticks are tiny, compact, cute and just love the beige colors. It has that velvety, blurry finish, nice and cheap. This product here is the Ink Gelato. The color soaks into your skin and stays put for a long time. These are vivid and long-lasting. Although this type is not my style, still this is a nice product from the brand. If you would like to try a watery tint, you should choose this Ink Gelato instead of their Ink Locker. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tour in Olive Young's store with me. I hope I could provide useful information about the products. See you next time and please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!